Not a bad place to wake up in. What's going on guys, Brandon Hyden here. Hope you're having a great day. Currently in Alicante, Spain. As you can see, well probably not because it's blown out, but there is an ocean view right in front of me, which I'm gonna show you in a second, but this is not where this vlog is gonna be held. I have been taking some time, de-stressing, really just enjoying my life at this point, because obviously I was meant to come to Alicante to do the show, which was actually two days ago. Seeing the sheer mass and the quality of the competitors that I was gonna be against, it was far beyond the standard of Toronto. In Toronto, I was eyeing up like first call outs and I was like, you know what? We might have had a chance at top five, which was the main goal, obviously. Got cut short because of the shoulder injury. But the guys in Alicante, oh my God, they were bodybuilders. Like not even classic. You know how like men's physique and then there's a step up a classic? It was like there was a whole different level above that. And obviously that is the physiques in the pro league, which inspired me a lot to obviously see that. I know what we need to do to build upon after I'm healed completely from the injury. But while I'm dealing with this stuff, it's been amazing to actually come, not going to Toronto to see that show, but of course enjoying the trip that was initially going to be a prep trip, but now treating it as a holiday. And it's been absolutely not only necessary, but freaking amazing. Quick tour of the place before the vlog actually starts. This is where we're staying. Got some pizza boxes everywhere because <laughs> I've been having a little bit of food. Living, We definitely do need to clean this place, by the way. Right over here, we've got Stu. He's currently chilling, waiting to go to the pool. He's got his bathroom. This is my room, obviously. Yes, I've been a little bit busy over this holiday, just enjoying the time, so I've not really had much time to clean, but it's been great. The mess continues, but honestly, I'm not too stressed about it. And then here is the bathroom. The view outside is definitely something to shout home about because we've got a sick little patio here, chairs where me and Stu have been doing work pretty much every single morning. And then this is the view of the place. Oh my God. God, it's been so nice. It's a pretty big complex that wraps all the way around, but being able to be here in this place, we've been here for a total of four days now and it has been bloody incredible. We've gone out, we've drank a little bit, we've ate some good food. I have stayed on track in terms of relatively like maintaining the body's condition. Obviously with all the healing process, the last thing I need right now, considering it has been four weeks since the injury, is to do what happens post-show most of the time, which is blow up, eat food, have cheeks that are literally touching the ceiling, but we've definitely maintained I've still got abs. My leg lines are still deeply cut, or at least the best to be expected a month post show. But I'm honestly very, very happy that I've been able to do this, have some food, but monitoring it without actually binging and doing anything crazy. How's your time been? Couldn't have been better. We're still getting work done. We're still chilling. A little bit of drinking, not too much. <laughs> Maybe good to get you on the beers for once, but yeah, it's nice. Look at the view. What you want after a lot of work being done back in the UK. So, I mean, it's a shame we're here for other reasons than being here for your show, but I think we're making the best out of the situation and the stage will always be there. A little bit of a dream team situation, obviously having this guy here, sharing this with him and everything, and obviously being able to move into the new place. There's actually so much recorded for YouTube. There's actually a lot of vlogs coming as well because of the fact that we've got the new apartment tour. I did pick up a new vehicle. There's the show day vlog you're about to watch because obviously we hosted the Hard Body Classic. There's actually so much more in this than just the show day. I'm gonna take you along for the ride. So sit back, relax and enjoy what is a pretty freaking incredible video. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, Worcester is over. We're saying goodbye to the place. Me and Stu just packed away the entire apartment, what was left anyway, because we had some mates and my dad and Stu and myself, we packed away the van. We've got a van parked outside my dad's place. It's full of like everything that we have that's gonna be moving into the new place on Tuesday, because that is when we move in to the new apartment. This place served its purpose as a temporary spot to finish prep. Obviously now has officially finished because of the fact that we didn't even get to compete in the end. This hand movement, by the way, I'm like pinning my elbow against my arm because that's all I've got movement here but anything backwards just still and happening i actually don't know if it's gonna be back for weeks if i literally need a surgery to be able to move it properly ever again but this is the place obviously now completely empty the last time you saw it it had a humongous desk that's been split in half and basically thrown in the bin because it's just two planks of wood from b and q kind of a good memory this is mine and Stu's like second time ever living together we did live together for a bit in canada now we lived here which is our first time living alone and Stu, how'd it go full of memories definitely won't miss the street what's the best part about like what we've done. I think hard body growing yeah. as much as it has. I know it's done well in Canada and we definitely put in some work there but I feel like we did lock in here and that's just to show what we can do. And what's the worst part about living with, together? If someone eats the last bit of food that you needed on a meal. <laughs> there was some serious 12 o'clock walks to Tesco that was 24 hours. Or two. <laughs> we made it work didn't we? Quick wrap around, final look. This is the place now completely bare. Obviously we've got some rubbish there that people are going to have to get rid of. Just a few more bags to take. Stu's bedroom is now empty and then across here my bedroom is now 
we've got some towels and random stuff down there, but we're pretty much all set. But the plan for the day, because it's very early in the morning, is we are driving somewhere now to meet a special person that's going to be taking us to a place that could potentially be producing a lot of products for us in the future in the respect of a completely new company spinning off of Hardbody. This is something that I'm kind of just like dropping an Easter egg about now because it probably won't drop for another four to five months based on the fact that creating the quality of product that I want to make isn't going to be easy and then produce the effect that I want it to make people and that's all I can say really I promise it will all make sense eventually busy day then we're driving to try and get a haircut then driving to try and get some trousers and a shirt so I've got something nice to wear for the hard body classic and then we go to athlete check-in in London to meet and greet everyone that's competing in the show sometimes when I talk bro I like realize that we we do too much I know like packed away the, the entire place, going to start a new business, meeting a new business partner, going to a manufacturer, going for a haircut, going to buy some clothes. By the way, at the same time, running all the business stuff. Like I'm working right now. I'm currently recording a YouTube video, posts on social media, hard body, emails, coaching, been speaking to clients literally all morning. After that's been done, we're going to be driving to London, checking into a hotel and then going to an athlete check-in for a show that we built. Man, what is going on? We're officially out of here. good. Done. All to do now is put the keys in the lockbox and we just found the code because we forgot. We never have to listen to that beeping ever um, again. The drunk idiots as well, man. If I never have to hear another karaoke night in my entire life because we lived literally up there and this place right here had the worst karaoke singers I've ever heard in my entire life. Please, never go on Britain's Got Talent, never go on X Factor because you'll kill everyone. Last time walking up this bridge, I've done this way too many times. On the way to cardio, on the way to whatever. This is it. I actually posted an Instagram picture on this bridge holding some bags from the laundrette that absolutely blew the hell up, which is pretty cool. I feel like that's the best part that came out of this bridge. We love a good bridge. And the parking, we've got two cars parked in now. There you go. You can do it. Stop it. Just went to the manufacturer, just went to the gym, the guy that owns the gym that's actually helping us build this company, and it went absolutely fantastic. I can't wait to show you what we're building. It's gonna be a four to five month wait. We're hoping to release this at the start of November, just before Black Friday, just leading into Christmas, especially at the start of New Year. This is the perfect sort of brand to release around that sort of time, so I can't wait to show you what we are doing. But right now, we just got to a place a little bit further down the street. We went to a barber's relatively close to the direction in which we're driving to London. Get haircut, go to Zara, buy a nice outfit be prepared for the hard body classic tomorrow because i have no clothes other than what i'm wearing let's hope this barber doesn't mess me up we are next in line there was two kind gentlemen right here doing fine jobs i've got this guy next and he did a pretty decent fade on this guy so i've got high hopes you know when you go into a barber's and you're like you see someone do a good job you're like you know what i'm not gonna get fucked up right now because obviously the worst part about going to a new barber's as a dude is like all i have is a fade for my identity you know i don't have nails hair curls fucking tan fake lips big boobs all that sort of stuff oh well, we guys are cut. I think my guy's good. I think Stu's guy is gonna mess him up. Have to wait and see. I got Lionel Messi cutting my hair. We know he doesn't miss. The moment of truth in three, two, one. And just like that, we are fresh. I like it. If you don't like, you're gonna shave your head off. Words can't describe how much fresher you feel when you get out of the barbers. Oh my god, I feel good. Even got to run over my facial hair, non existent facial hair, with that zero sort of trimmer. Because I never like using the blade on my face because it, it just leaves me feeling like red rashed and just not good. But considering we are sort of keeping ourselves tidy and tight, even though we're not on prep now, even though my arm is absolutely cooked, which I'll show you in a minute, by the way, because every day it gets more purple, more black, more green, and the bruising is just showing through more and more but currently this is what the arm is looking like i don't know how well you're going to see it on the video but obviously here is this arm completely just normal and then obviously this arm is becoming increasingly more bruised around this sort of general area but yeah it's not looking good and even though yes we aren't going to do the show anymore there's no reason i should be acting like a dickhead and eating whatever i want eating off plan like obviously i've been a bit more kind to myself when it comes to tracking when it comes to calories I actually went out for dinner last night and had whatever i wanted to which felt amazing being kind to yourself and being kind to your mind and now knowing that the pressure is kind of alleviated but you still need to be controlled that's the way i'm sort of acting now i'm eating my unplanned meals i'm tracking my calories i'm making sure that we're not massively increasing and going on weird binges i feel like i definitely got that out of my system at some point on prep anyway but that's the current standpoint i'm waiting for Stu right now to finish getting his haircut then we're gonna head all the way to zara which is about an hour and a half from here which is only 10 minutes from the show so when we're all suited and booted and we've got the outfits we need we'll be ready Stop fighting. 
inside the shops. Now to find Zara. River Island's right there. Victoria's Secret, Apple, Office, Sketchers. Should we get some Sketchers? Top floor Zara is closed, but apparently downstairs is open. And Five Guys is right there. Do we get a cheeky Five Guys? In Zara. Top floor, men's clothes. Let's see what we can do. We want to be smart. The sort of smart that you look like you're uh, hosting a bodybuilding show. <sighs> All right, let's see how it fits. By the way, camera's got 1% battery, so it might die. Oh, these are sick. Tell you what, we're set. This is perfect. There's no way we just found this first run. There's no way. Probably because I haven't got fat yet and I'm maintaining my condition, but nevertheless, we need a belt, shoes, we're done. Now that was extremely easy. The shopping pump is pretty good. The goods have been secured. We got the bag, now I need to find a nice pair of shoes. Just gotta try to find a decent store that I can dress this up with. Thank you, sir. Right, take care, yeah. Have a good one. Shirt down, trousers down, shoes down. I've already got a watch, belt down, and I also got some decent socks to go with my black towel outfit as well. So we're set, that was easy. Um, spent a little bit more than I wanted to, but I think the shirt and trousers were 70 pound from Zara, but then the belt, the shoes, and the socks were 380 from Boss. But I own no nice clothes. I literally have no nice clothes ever, so I don't mind. I'm so glad this shoulder is alright. I can still have something. But then this one is absolutely cooked. I feel like it dips down at the back now. It just has a dip because, well, there's no muscle there. So that's great. <laughs> Took me ages to build that delt. I'm just gonna have to rip that one out. Yeah, that, that one now. fucking pops. But you know what? I'll just build another one. Just pulled up to the Harvard Classic. We've got one of the competitors right here. Introduce yourself. My name's Lewis. I'm competing in men's physique tomorrow. This is the second time I compete here, but I'm excited to compete at the Hard Body Classic. Obviously, you know, it's great to meet Brandon for the first time. So, lovely guy. Buzzing to be here. Thank feeling you, pumped, feeling ready, man. You've just gone inside so we can use the bathroom, but I'm going to walk in now and see what's happening. I am a little bit late. This is the center, the Bray Ridge Center. I've actually competed here twice before, but now this is the second ever Hard Body Classic hosting our own bloody show. Shall I look at the camera or not? No, I'll do whatever you want. All right. What's up? I'll do the super heavy one day. Every single day I feel the pleasure. Year is 22. 24? Oh my god! I'm so glad I recorded that. So we'll see you tomorrow. Good luck. Good luck, mate. <laughs> Good. I feel the pressure. Yeah. As ready as I get. She's very ready. Stefan thinks I'm more ready than I think, but I just I just trust That's just the way. No one ever thinks they're ready. Hello vlog. Are you ready? Nice to finally meet you. Junior men's physique. Yeah. Excited. I'm not usually this colour. I'm the palest human in existence, even paler Same. than Brandon. Oh paler than me. Yeah, I'm paler That's than a curse, me, bro. Usually. I like your t-shirt. Thank you so Turn much. Around. I got it from Harbody. <laughs> <There we go. laughs> Yeah, but I cannot wait to get yeah, one of them. We're doing season three is just arrived in the warehouse just after the James Beard was, so that's in three weeks. Established season three is two weeks after. This will be about a month after. So it's the foundation. All things conducive to the foundation of your outfit. So compression tees, compression tanks, these boxer shorts, socks. And these are coming in white, grey, and black. My name's Emily. Hey, it's Emily. Wish you are here. She's yeah. getting into bodybuilding. Coming in tomorrow? Nah, she what? can't make What's it. What's going on? What's going on? <laughs> Gotta support the man. <laughs> but uh, no, uh, good luck with everything you're trying to do. It takes a it takes a long time to build a physique that is worthy of the stage, and it's something that like you shouldn't be taking lightly. It's something that should be taken very seriously. And I know that anyone has the ability to do it into. I was gonna say something like shine bright, that's cringy as hell. There's a shiny bright light right there. <laughs> but you know what I'm trying to say. Just give it everything you've got, and there's no reason you can't be one of the best. I'm always nervous with this now. Oh my god. God, I keep going for the wrong one, bro. I'm just yeah. not using left. I was at like my furthest rotation. When it popped, it cocked back because it fully detached and it allowed yeah. more rotation. Like as hard as possible. I sort of got it there. Yeah. And then because all the tension in the back, it went, yeah. I don't know how. It just did. I felt like I was an anime character, like Goku. I was going Super Saiyan, and I was like, ah! <laughs> it's just too strong. Yeah, 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 I don't know what happened. I got weak ass ligaments. Yeah, you're right. You'll be all right. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hey, How are you? <laughs> Yeah, no, you're right. Mine competed recently and she won the overall. <laughs> no, no, don't. Who knows what's going to happen here? Yeah. I can show no bias though, this is bad of me. I don't do any judging by the way. I'm not involved in any of the panel. Actually crazy, that's like dream car level of car. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, you're not showing it I'm at all? Really reaction. I like, like it. <laughs> I like it a lot. My wife oh has a good car. That's crazy. You like that's it? Literally, that's literally my dream car, Brandon. The size of the exhaust are crazy. <laughs> 
and there we have it the stage is set athletes are all checked in i got to catch the last bit of the athletes it was amazing to meet the competitors that are going to be doing the show tomorrow we've got the belts to bring in tomorrow the people who win the overall in their class get a hard body classic like belt that's specifically created for the winners and then it says a uh, hard body classic like raised gel on the inside of the belt we did it last year but this year we did something different every competitor that wins their class is going to get a two bros medal and of course a hard body classic medal as well so they're going to get two medals which is sick so if you are doing the show and you do walk away with a medal congratulations that's incredible they're literally going to have the first round of these medals ever but this is the stage that tomorrow will be branded we'll have the hard body stuff this is where the parents and the brothers and the sisters and the friends are going to be it's nice to know that i've actually done these shows before and this is where the whole like trying to get a pro card thing happened for the first time and this is exactly where other people are going to be trying to get their pro card to regionally qualify to then be able to do something like a pro qualifier in the future so and hopefully if anyone gets a pro card they can spend it unlike me because i'm a freaking cripple that's it we're gonna head back to the hotel right now check in and eat some food because today's been pretty busy it's been hectic very grateful for every freaking moment of all these experiences we experienced what it was like to be able to live together in Worcester and it was absolutely incredible. She was living with me in the new place, which I'll show you in the apartment tour in a, I think like two videos after this. But now we have a final day here in Alicante. It's Tuesday. We have obviously been here for four days and it's been absolutely incredible. But the next stop is Ireland Limerick and that's where Stu's from. That was actually where show number three was gonna be, which initially we had a flight booked from Alicante to spend two weeks in Limerick to then compete two weeks after this. But now we're just gonna go for a few days, enjoy the time. I'll get the chance to meet shoes family and friends and it's gonna be really really nice the plan is still in action we're still doing a bunch of work there's a lot of drops happening the james beardwell x hard body collaboration actually releases on the 25th at 6 p.m uk time this month so probably in seven or so days from when this video goes live oh you know my shoulder is killing please look out for that follow the hard body instagram and my instagram and even james as well you'll see everything that we are dropping it is probably the most beautiful drop that we have ever dropped with hard body so far so i just said drop like 10 times drop new drop don't miss it nevertheless guys if you enjoyed the video please drop a like turn the post notifications subscribe if you haven't already because it really helps the channel grow and i'll see you in the next video peace